Haydn, Haydn, Haydn. That's all everybody wants to talk about these days. Ever since I moved to Vienna last year, ever since the debut of his Symphony 94, the surprise symphony, they are calling it. What a surprise. The second movement, I mean, with the sudden fortissimo. I'm surprised Haydn is receiving such accolades for such a simple melody. Women are fainting, they say. How absurd. I've just received a letter from my father, who is of course singing the praises of Haydn. He always needs to remind me that I will never be good enough for Vienna. Not if I don't conform to the musical stylings of the day. Well, I'm sick of trying to emulate and copy Bach and Mozart and Haydn. I want to create something new. The world is changing. It will soon be the 19th century. Music must change too. But alas, father will never see my point of view. My whole life, he has been telling me that I will never amount to anything. When I was a young child, it was Mozart this and Mozart that. And Mozart was a prodigy at the age of six. You are already eight, and what have you accomplished? At least in Vienna, I don't have anybody waking me up in the middle of the night and forcing me to entertain their friends. I was so happy to finally get out from under his abusive rule. And now I must focus. I must create a symphony that is new and fresh. Tonight, when I return from my lodgings, I must remain there until I have created the music that Europe has been waiting for. I can hear it in my head. Waiter, waiter, where's my Wiener Schnitzel? And can you fill up my glass?